Hey guys, Tiffany Ophelia Porter here where I discuss all things life after sport. In this video, it is going to be an Instagram live with one of my best friends, Moya Phillips, who is also the owner and CEO of Almost Silk, which is a luxury silk accessories company. We're going to be talking all things abundance in the month of August and what we are praying and hoping and believing for come this month. It's going to be a great conversation. I'm looking forward to it. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the uh, live series on abundance uh, hosted by Almost Silk. For those of you that don't know, um, Tiffany is a wife. She's a mom. She's a pharmacist. She's a three time Olympian. She's, uh, I think on her Instagram, she has like, she's a digital creator. She doesn't have everything. She's also a real estate investor. Like this girl owns homes and rents them out. Okay. I'm just excited to be here. Thank you for that introduction. I'm excited to talk all things abundance. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it, my girl. We are in the heat of Olympics and you're a superstar, three-time Olympian. And the third one, guys, can I just mention this lady had a baby <laughs> in 2019 and literally lost about 60 pounds of weight went back to compete went back to training and competing in the olympics in 2021 being a three-time olympian how did the mindset of abundance play a role in your journey and how do you continue to cultivate that kind of mindset in your daily life i think very early on, I knew that I had a gift and I knew it was my responsibility to hone in on that gift. And when you get become an athlete at that level, you know that it's not only physical, a big part of it is mental. So I went into every training session, every competition, knowing that something has to shake. I have to go out there, put my best foot forward, really train hard, and more importantly, believe that I can win. Champions don't go into a race thinking you're going to lose. You don't go into a training session thinking it's going to be awful. You have to have that mindset of abundance, of success, of prosperity, and of winning in order to have it translate to the track. And I've just learned a lot of those lessons now in my life, even in retirement. So, you know, that mindset is really important. And you have to just have that mental fortitude as an athlete and even as a human. Okay, so... Tiffany, can you share some? I know you talked about the mindset, right? And you already know how I feel about mindset. Uh, because everybody at the Olympics is talented. I mean, if you make it to the Olympics, you are talented. And a lot of times, it's, I don't think it's the best person that may necessarily win. Um, I think everybody at that level is qualified to be called best, if you ask me. Again, I don't know. I'm not an Olympian, right? It's but true. It's just what I think. I do think that what kind of sets some people apart is your mindset that a lot of people of course the time of the day your flow how hot you are in the moment all those things matter right if you've had if you just had a bad argument that will probably affect you so i do i do i really believe that your mindset just being very clear very insistent on winning uh coming out to putting your best foot forward i think is really what takes everybody to that next level because i think talent would do most of it but you know mindset is everything and tiffany you talked about mindset so can you kind of share some of your practices or mindsets that have helped you to attract and maintain abundance in your life. Just give us some practical steps that you do or that you have within you. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, well, a big thing for me is surrounding myself with people who also believe in me. Because, I mean, it's inevitable to have those days where you might not be feeling it, those days where you're not just like 100% yourself, but you have people like my husband, my sister, my training partners, even you and some of my old training partners from college, they're pouring into you and kind of being that anchor. It can help uplift you in the days that you might be 100% yourself. So that definitely helps. I don't really journal per se. My sister used to always get on me. She would buy me these fancy journals and be like, why aren't you writing stuff down? That's not really my style. I know a lot of people swear by it. That's one thing that my sister does do before her competitions. By the way, for those of you who don't know, my little sister is competing in the Olympics in Paris yes. on August 7th. So tune into the 100 hurdles to cheer off in December. Um, Tiffany, you'll yeah, be there live. I will be there, be there the live. And I actually might go by to Paris. So stay tuned for that as well. I'm looking forward to it. But yeah, journaling having the right people around you um, a lot of prayer and a lot of mental 
practice, if that makes sense. The, as much as you train your body to be at peak fitness and to be the best in the world, you don't think you're going to go out there and win Olympic medals, world championship medals, and all have all of these accolades when, without doing the same to your mindset as well. So visualizing before track meets, even if you're not an athlete and that doesn't necessarily apply directly to your life, you can visualize before that interview. You can say a quick prayer before you head into the office. You can be there and you know pull from other people who are on your team even if they're not trainers to help uplift you when you're having an off day so i think all of those things practically have really just helped me on my journey wow tiffany i you know when you talk about visualizing you really hit the nail on the head because like wow like you really have to visualize like even when you talked about the track right like um visualizing the track visualizing you winning i remember one time my dad was telling me how like with golf because my dad plays golf for those of you that you know don't know that's like the love of his life but anyways um he always talks about how like to play really good golf you have to familiarize yourself with the actual um, course you have to if, especially the pros they actually go there ahead of time and they're literally practicing on there just to master what the course looks like and um i do think that you really speak to that like it's not it's beyond just visualizing it in your head you know like going to where you're competing i'm assuming it's part of it looking at that finish line looking at yourself as first putting it on a vision board putting yourself as the champion like you know number one on your like wearing a medal even if it's not you haven't earned it yet right those are those kind of things you're talking about 110 percent okay. i'll take it even a step further Please. not even only at competitions even at track meets when you're getting ready to go do that crazy 300 workout that you hate doing visualize yourself going through that finish line and saying i'm going to finish this workout and the mind is a crazy thing when you really believe that something's going to happen more often than not it happens uh, but tiffany you know people like you are also special in a good way if you know what i mean like the mind is a powerful thing right but you also have to have that discipline and i'm sure there are days you wake up and you're just like i don't feel like doing this and a lot of us have those days and we don't do it where because we don't have to but you um you had to do it even after having a baby you had to get up and go so what do you do to get up and go like how is it that you just tell you i mean what exactly do you put in your head that makes you say you know what like i don't care how bad i feel i need to get my behind up and just go that's a very good question and for me it was a number of things number one i had this crazy intrinsic motivation that even if my external factors don't look favorable favorable if it's raining outside or if i just had an argument with somebody and i don't feel like it i have to focus on this task at hand because i know what i what my goals are and also um like i said having that like you your your mindset and your goals are in the back of your mind every single day and every single rep and uh, in a very practical way knowing that tiffany if you ain't getting up and going your competitors are those people that you lining up against the against each other on the on the on the line they are having bad days some days but how are they responding to that mm -hmm. you want to mm -hmm. be the best are you willing to do what it takes to be the best and again guys this is transferable not only for track this is in life if you want to be the best pharmacist if you want to be the best ceo of almost silk if you want to be the best accountant if you want to be the best mom if you want to be the best whatever it looks like for you you need to know that you you have to put the work in on the, in the back end in order for you to reap the benefits you know in the future so i just think having that motivation knowing and really having an understanding of what it takes to achieve your goal is going to make such a difference wow well tiffany you're really dropping some nuggets and we're so grateful because i mean when you even talk about goals right you actually i got a little bit of shivers when you said um make sure that you remember that your competitors are getting up and going even when they have bad days and i do think i really believe in healthy competition and i also believe in collaboration right but it's also important to know that someone else is doing it like you said and for every time i snooze somebody else is waking up and they are doing it so and and you're right it's applicable to more than just um track i mean it's applicable to all things of life and I some want days we don't feel to like say one thing, Amoya, sorry to cut you off since that just made me think about it i think sometimes when we see people who are doing better than us we see that competitor or that colleague or that person who was killing it in their field sometimes people might cower from that or feel insecure feel you know like you said kind of competition i look at it as motivation okay you know what they are 
start doing what I want want to do, you know, learn from that. You know, it's it's okay to to humble yourself and say I'm not where I want to be, but I know where I where I want where I want to go. And I I'm gonna use that person as motivation. I'm not gonna envy them. I'm not gonna be jealous of them. I'm gonna use their story or their journey or their success as a motivation for me to do what I need to do to be successful. Hmm, I love that. So you guys, if you didn't hear that clearly, she said turn envy into motivation. Yes. Did I get it right? Yeah. So definitely have to turn envy into motivation because what does envy get you? Nothing. But mo- when you're motivated, yes. You know. Um. So Tiffany, that's 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 definitely another good one. Tiffany, you talked about goals, right? And I want to kind of talk about. I- I'm claiming an abundant August. So if you're on this live session right now, just so you know, you are going. You're already on the right step towards embracing and immersing yourself in an abundant august so you guys i just want to let you know the 31 days in august i'm actually claiming that every day something abundant is going to happen to me like out of the blues right so that's kind of i'll say yesterday i had the first one i'm just minding my business took my kids out to play came back home and i received a birthday gift now keep in mind guys my birthday was in june okay june 17th we're talking almost two months later and then i get a gift in the mail amazing everything you know like cakes treats whatnot happy belated birthday and i was like huh the abundance like you know and i said you know what i'm actually claiming this so that was day one august 1st so guess what day two i'll probably share that testimony i don't know yet but i know it's coming even if it gets here at even if it gets here at 11 59 p.m my abundance is coming today and i hope that you're claiming that too for yourself uh, i just want to make sure i put that out there everyone like I said, the fact that you're on this live session means you're already on the right track. I do want to ask Tiffany about some of your specific goals. Um, you can talk about for August or just in general, but what specific goals are you working on right now? What specific goals are you manifesting for yourself in the month of August? And how do they align with your vision of overall abundance? Right now, if I'm being 100% honest, August for me, all mine is on the Olympics for my little sister. So I am claiming abundance for her on the track. And I'm not just saying that. Literally, when I'm praying, I'm praying, just let my sister go out there and do her thing because I used to be her training partner. I am her sister. I'm her biggest fan. And I know what it takes to perform at the Olympics. So that's kind of where my mind is there. And to be honest, I'm even pulling inspiration from her. And I retired three years ago. I'm looking at it. Looking at it. I was working. I back squatted yesterday. You know, even though I'm not running, I wanna, you know. I saw you. I saw you doing that with JJ. Listen, why were you doing that? Because I'm trying to get my body right too. I have goals, and I'm inspired by these athletes who are going out and doing that. But so that right now is honestly what I'm, what all my mind is going towards in August. However, for me. Um, you know, other than pulling inspiration from that, I would love to see my YouTube channel continue to flourish. By the way, if you guys haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, check it out. Tip Ophili. I discuss all things life after sport. And I think um, I made a commitment in, in on November 2023 to grow that YouTube page and really just pour all of my energy into it. Something that had been on my heart for a really long time. And I've just been seeing tremendous growth as a creator and I've been loving the journey. So I'm claiming it in the month of August with abundance that not only will I continue to grow number wise, I will get officially monetized. You need 4,000 watch hours. I am painfully close to it. And I'm hoping that it happens in the month of August. I'm claiming it. So that's what my personal goal is for this month. But I would love to hear yours, girl. (laughs) So Tiffany, first of all, um, Cindy is definitely gonna medal and put in the house oh my god's grace if hey, you guys man. know um I'm, I'm even getting a little bit emotional because cindy this is her third olympic as well and um she actually was very um she was fourth place in the second one right no her first one the she first was one okay. real yeah so she just missed it by one and she's had injuries she had so much setbacks and to be here in this third olympics is amazing it's just an amazing story of faith of resilience and just like you know she's gonna have a story so these are tears of joy because i'm very very emotional when it it. all this kind of thing so i'm claiming it for her and then tiffany for your youtube you're also claiming that abundance of the uh you said four thousand you're painfully close that means you already got it we're not even hoping we, we're just claiming it it's happening okay we're not 
we're not beating around the bush it's happening we can monetize it and then you can buy me a gift or your god baby because you know it doesn't matter exactly when you win we all win um so what is my goal for abundance in in august my goal for abundance is to sell out on our abundance collection for our silk um we have an abundance collection um again if you haven't seen it for those of you that just joined it's amasilk.com and my goal is that we'll sell out completely of the entire collection we're already on the way to it so if you haven't gotten something yet you can add to my uh abundance quota by going over there and purchasing something asap but yeah so tiffany part of this series is we want to have people to kind of um share with us some kind of affirmation in abundance for august okay we're calling it the triple a affirmation for abundance in august very simple right like i'll give you an example my affirmation for today because i'm doing one every day but you just have to have one for august mine for today is i am deserving of limitless abundance and it flows to me with ease okay so that's what i'm claiming and if you're not on this tip i'm telling you guys it works you know just say what you want and you will attract it and you'll sustain it so tiffany my question for you is what is your affirmation for abundance in august my affirmation of abundance for the month of august is my success is necessary now let me just elaborate on that slightly okay. i think for me it's more of a statement that it's gonna happen and i have no choice but to be successful and that's in all areas abundance in my relationships and my and everything and i think necessary in the sense that those around me i spoke about team earlier it was a perfect segue saying when i win we all win but for me if i'm successful i can pour into my babies i can pour into my husband i can pour into my community i can pour into you know use my little sphere of influence to, to impact those around me so i genuinely from the bottom of my heart believe in collaboration and i believe when i win we all win so my aaa my triple a is that Yay. my success is required it is necessary okay so tiffany's triple a is very concise i love it tiffany my success is necessary i mean you can't even forget that right my success is necessary so if you love it i'll tell you take it you know use it and just say it like what do you have to lose you know that's what i'm always telling people like you have nothing to lose just claim this thing and worst case scenario you don't get it but best case scenario you get all of it and you know it doesn't take anything from you so one of my other abundance quotes was abundance is my birthright you know so hey i'm claiming that too but most importantly just make sure you take your affirmation tiffany zone was simple my success is necessary mine is i'm deserving of limitless abundance and it flows to me with ease um Tiffany do you have any last words for us as we close out this abundance series no I just want to thank everybody for tuning in my former coach my college coach coach Chiz was on here he said that I was one of the best athletes yes. he's ever coached he, he was an amazing coach as well I'm just so grateful for my community and for everybody that is here and who's ever poured into me in any little way shout out to you guys thank you for this conversation Amoya I let's do a part two one of these days this was good yes we have to maybe while you're at the Olympics you know you can that 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 setting is going to be phenomenal but you know i know you're going to be focusing on cindy whatever it is i'm just excited for you guys okay maybe we'll do one with sydney cindy actually i'll talk with her um, maybe after she gets her medal we, we can we can schedule it after she gets her medal because we claiming it so it can't be before though uh, <laughs> cindy said after um, you know, stay focused but we'll talk afterwards <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, that's fine. Just stay focused then. Just stay focused. Um but Cindy, uh, Cindy, I hope you you're seeing this, you know, regardless we're rooting for you. We know you're going to get a medal and we're claiming it. So that's what we're immersing ourselves in. Um so you guys, thank you all again for joining us. This was fantastic. We had a ball with you all. Oh, uh, thank you Tiffany. And you're so welcome to the Olympics. Excited for you. And thank you all for joining. And that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed that conversation and that you're feeling empowered. You're feeling the abundance theme for August and that we're ready to execute on those goals and to make greatness happen. Leave down in the comments what your favorite part of the conversation was. Did you enjoy having Moya as a spe special guest on this channel? If so, let me know if you want to do a part two with her and we can make that happen. And I I will see you guys in the next video. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Share with somebody that might enjoy this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.